Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video I'm going to put to test the USB port here and see what this tablet can actually accept. Now there's no scientific approach to this, I've just tried to put together as many USB devices as I can find and give them a whirl on a tablet. So we'll just start nice and easily with something I expect to work which is of course any normal mouse and I've done this a few times so I'm certain this is going to work but uh, just for the benefit of the video, I will do it again to prove that it works. Now, it's the first time I'm plugging this mouse in, so it might take a while for it to calibrate, but it hasn't, no. It's picked up, it's powering it, and you will be able to see it on the screen now that if I click on a desktop, it goes to the desktop nice and easily. I can right-click as well, which is wonderful. And if I use the mouse wheel, I can go up and down my screen, which is nice. And I have forward and backwards buttons, although I'm not sure uh, what they would do. Obviously, they would work in a browser if I was using one. So that's uh, a perfect start for the Surface RT. Let's try a very simple use of uh, media storage now. We will use a simple USB port, uh, USB stick, plug that in. And as I'm plugging them in, I am interested to know how the tablet tells me uh, what I plugged in. So for example I plugged in this USB stick and it said that there's a removable disk in D. If I tap to it it's going to show that I can uh, browse it and I can use uh, a different numbers of uh, applications because I've got uh, Metro Commander, I've got File Explorer as well which is obviously a desktop and it goes there and I can look at files on here. Uh, let's see do I have anything I can quickly look at. We've got a couple of pictures here that I could look at so it's obviously opened up an application nice and simply uh, however there is more than one picture in this folder but it's only giving me access to the particular file that I opened so it would have been nicer if it would have opened all of these files on here uh, it's a bit difficult to do with my hands unfortunately to try and open all of them I think uh, I'm sure there'll be an option somewhere but it's just not that obvious to me I'm sure there'll be an option to open a slideshow uh, but there doesn't seem to be one uh, but I can of course put it on extra large icons and that should give me some thumbnails which it does so there's a bit of a trade-off there obviously if I uh, in a Windows environment this would be very, very easy to do but uh, it's just a bit tricky using the hands to try and look at the pictures anyway uh, so no problems there again on the USB front it's worked with that fine let's give um, this a bit of a challenge now let's up the um, stakes and put in a portable hard drive this is a 250 gig uh, USB 2 hard drive which is about four or five years old and if I can find my cable let's plug this in and see how well it works it does become a grey area with tablets whether or not they can power uh, external devices that need power so I plugged it in uh, it's reading it fine as you can see and it's saying that I would need to format my disk uh, before I can use it that's fine because I've just formatted this hard disk to be used on a television so it's not going to work properly until I format it but in saying that this is another strength of the Surface RT in that it gives me the option to format the hard disk if I did this on another tablet it might not have the uh, capacity to do these sort of two um, these services and uh, use these tools to do such things but I'll cancel for now and I will uh, eject because there's nothing on that hard drive so it's not important so let's get that out and we'll put something on now with a bit more oomph to it it's another hard drive this is a terabyte hard drive but the difference with this hard drive is that it's USB 3 now I'm not expecting this to run at USB 3 I believe the surface Pro has a USB 3 port, uh, but this port on the uh, Surface RT is USB 2. Nonetheless, I should still expect this thing to work, so uh, let's give it a whirl. Seem to pick it up immediately. If it's a case of me plugging in the hard drive for the first time, it may need to get the drivers for it, but no, that so seems to be fine. Uh, let's see if I can quickly go into something. Is there a film I could quickly watch? Let's just quickly load up a video to make sure that it's working. I could of course copy this onto the hard drive on the tablet itself. 
uh, but of course there's not that much room on the Surface RT with you only sat on with about 16 gig even though it is a 32 gig uh, device but that's fine now on this one I will make sure that I eject the hard disk properly S same uh, principle as you would do on a Windows and it said it's currently in use is that because the folder is still open let's try that one more time there we are so it's turned off and I can unplug that without any more concerns the next test is I'm going to plug in my camera if I can find it again I've misplaced it now it took me about five minutes to work out that the reason I couldn't find my camera is because the camera was attached to the tripod taking a video so I am a complete idiot don't trust anything I say anyway here are a couple of pictures of me attaching the camera to the tablet the tablet detected it absolutely fine, straight away no problems, and the videos that were recorded on the camera played fine on the tablet. So another thumbs up for the tablet passing this test with no problems whatsoever. So a 100% record so far for the Surface RT. Let's up the stakes again a little bit more and plug in this. This is a USB studio microphone condenser and I use it to narrate my videos and I plug it into my laptop on the Windows 7 machine and it works fine I'm not sure if it's going to work on a Surface RT but we'll find out right now again it's another powered device so I'll plug it in and the signs are promising because the uh, lights come on which means that it's powered and the tablet also made a nice noise and I've already set up a control panel to look at the microphone so if I do set up microphone so it's now actually saying, I'm not sure if you can see this on the screen, let me just zoom in. So apologies for the jerky camera. It's saying what type of microphone is the Samsung CO1U and that's exactly the microphone it is. Uh, so it's identified the microphone which is fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to put it's a desktop microphone. Actually no, I'll say it's another one because it is another one. And so... Uh, now, if I put the microphone up to my mouth, obviously you can't see, well, if I put the microphone there, you can still see that there's a little bit of a um, volume going up and down. And then if I put the microphone right next to my mouth, uh, you can see now that the microphone is properly picking up the uh, level. So, if I did find a program, a film editing program on the Surface RT, uh, this microphone would work fine. So, that's another positive uh, pass mark there for the Surface RT, and I'm quite impressed by that. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that. Next test is let's plug in a phone and see how it deals with that. The Samsung Galaxy S2 is temperamental at the best of times when plugging it into computers. So let's see how the Surface uh, reacts to it. Again, I'll just plug it in, see if I can browse the files more than anything else. So in it goes. I might have to unlock the phone in order for it to do anything. Thinking about it in a moment. And it has detected it. And again I'll use the file explorer. And it looks as if I can browse the content of the phone so I'm just looking at different application folders here and a bit of music and uh, I've also got an S a micro SD card on the phone and yes it's picking up that fine as well so again another pass mark there for the Surface RT and what this is demonstrating is the Surface RT's capacity to be a work machine rather than a uh, luxury uh, pleasure tablet <laughs> pleasure tablet what the hell is a pleasure tablet you tell me uh, if I don't edit that out of a video I'm going to really embarrass myself next thing uh, let's plug in an Exa 7 I've actually done this before in a video all by itself because it was a kind of uh, tablet incest with two tablets uh, joining up to uh, do something it was kind of which would be the master and which would be the slave and I think on this occasion the uh, Surface RT is a master 
uh, and then again I could browse the files on the tablet so a good flexibility there for the Surface RT won't bother looking at that one too much because once you've seen one tablet you've seen them all right on to the next thing if you think the touch cover keyboard for the Surface RT is rubbish which I think it is uh, you could use another keyboard potentially and uh, let's just be ironic and use this keyboard which is an old Apple keyboard and we'll plug it in to the Surface RT and again with any luck we should work out we, we should be able to tell if this works or not so there's a little driver thing going down at the bottom there so I think it's just uh, detecting what keyboard it is and deciding whether it's going to accept it or not hasn't really told me if it's decided to accept the keyboard or not it did do some driver readings but I'm not sure if it has worked so ah yes there we are proof that this keyboard is working and when you start to think about this now you could almost turn this into a mini computer if for example you wanted to plug in a, a monitor such as a monitor I have here and plug it into the Surface RT I could obviously use a micro HDMI cable to go from the tablet into the monitor the only problem is as you've seen before that there is some resolution issues with certain monitors it doesn't work really at all on this television it just doesn't accept the resolution of this it has to be a 768 by something or other on the Surface RT or else applications don't work which is just a complete pain in the ass but that seems to be what happens however uh, let's get back on topic this keyboard uh, even though it's an Apple keyboard has two USB ports so the question is can I plug the mouse into one of these USB ports so that then I've kind of created a double USB device so we'll plug it in excuse me I'm going to sneeze I'm going to leave it on, cam on camera so I plugged in the USB uh, mouse uh, the power is on and yeah it is working which is a, a good surprise now let's see if we can plug in a, a power device such as the portable hard drive and this now becomes a actual uh, PC if I can find the correct cable because I'm now in a mountain of cables so over here I'm going to plug in the USB or at least I'm going to try there we are I'm going to try and leave the hard drive just up there so it's in shot I do apologize for knocking the camera but a bit confined here so I plugged it in so now the light is on on this hard drive which is promising ah but it's saying USB device not recognized so it looks as if it's fallen foul a little bit here it either looks as if the keyboard can't interpret the hard drive or the Surface RT is now having a difficulty with three USB devices at once what I'll do is I'll unplug the mouse and I'll plug in the hard drive by itself and see if that makes any difference so I'll just bring the hard drive up here plug the hard drive back in now we're getting absolutely nothing from the hard drive the keyboard is still working so I'm going to have to unplug the hard drive unplug the keyboard and plug in the hard drive directly back into the tablet to make sure that the hard drive is still working so that was a more confident sound and it looks as if it's going to read the hard drive this time and give me the option to view it and I think it has worked so yeah a little bit of an issue uh, there were some positives that I could use 
extra USB ports on the keyboard but for powered devices it probably uh, won't work so a bit of a limitation there and that kind of just leads me on to the last thing that I was going to do which was to plug in a USB hub now this is a fairly cheap one and it's not powered so I'm not expecting much from this but we'll give it a go and see what happens first of all we'll just check if the hub works I plugged it in and it does have a light on it let's do a simple test of plugging in a mouse my desk is an absolute mess now in the mouse goes but that doesn't seem to work let's try another port uh, I'm not entirely sure this is working it's having problem with the USB device again it's not really recognizing it so I think there are some potential issues with attempting to plug uh, hubs in I thought I was making some progress to begin with uh, is that working now? we've got a little driver sign, uh, sign that's come up here so we'll just wait and see if that does do anything maybe that because it thinks it's in a different USB um, port now it's having to reload the drivers but maybe not because it seems to have, seems to have stopped again so I think we'll uh, consider the USB port hub a failure but with the caveat that this is a very cheap hub it was about a dollar so I wasn't entirely certain it was going to work and it did work on the keyboard so it may be a hub issue so if anyone has any more information about whether USB hubs work reliably uh, let me know uh, unfortunately I don't have another printer I can test with the USB port as you know I had pr problems with the printer before and I haven't bought a new one since uh, and I, I do think that was more of a one-off but all in all uh, a good performance there from the uh, Surface RT it accepted uh, a range of devices including uh, cameras and microphones uh, which was a positive it accepted both Android devices that I plugged into it um, a very specialized piece of equipment in terms of that USB condenser microphone a keyboard with another device plugged into the keyboard uh, to a certain extent so yeah um, I would say that there was some uh, success there and just a final point even though I've done this many times before uh, I've uh, plugged it in uh, an Xbox controller and it does work on games uh, but I'm probably not going to have time to show it you now uh, I've already done a, a SNES emulator uh, video where I was using the Xbox controller so check out that video so thanks for watching that guys uh, a long video but I wanted to reverse uh, the role of the Surface RT and turn it into a bit of a hero rather than a villain but it has been in a lot of my videos recently to show you that there are many other tablets that can do this the Asus Transformer Prime could do this uh, as an Android device and the Surface RT is another one that can do it but it can accept even more USB devices thanks to its Windows drivers see you again soon in another Surface RT video